Infiniti launched the QX80S predecessor, the QX56, when environmentalists were torching hummers and energy experts claimed peak oil would dry out the world's reserves within decades. During the 2004 model year, its first, gas prices crested at more than $2 per gallon, prompting more predictions that big SUVs would soon be extinct. Exactly none of that happened. Since Infiniti renamed the second-generation QX56 as the QX80 for 2014, and then refreshed it for 2015, sales of luxury SUVs and crossovers have been on fire. For 2018, Infiniti has updated the QX80 a second time. After driving it in Charleston, South Carolina, we'd suggest no surprise, given its age that it may still need a few more tweaks. While the QX80 keeps its imposing presence, senior product manager Anand Patel admits that too many customers could not get over the styling. He's talking about its brutish face that was part tractor trailer, part 1930s era Chrysler Airflow. By raising the headlights 3.9 inches, slimming their openings, toning down the thick chrome grille, and revising the entire lower fascia, Infiniti designers look to mimic the gorgeous Q60 coupe and get it to work on this large SUV. We think they did a good job. Head on, the QX80 has become a handsome fellow. At the rear, a widened chrome strip connects new LED tail lights, although the bumper-mounted incandescent turn signals are the one odd disconnect. The hulking 22-inch wheels, 20s are standard, high step in height, and lofty greenhouse carryover. Three new or revised colors are available, all at extra charge. Moonstone white is bright and pearlescent, mineral black adds some copper sparkle in the dark, and our favorite, champagne quartz, was said to be inspired by ancient French caves. Inside, Infiniti now offers saddle brown semi-aniline leather when buyers select the $5,700 deluxe technology package that requires $8,150 in additional options, and the $2,450 theater package's rear seat entertainment screens have been widened by an inch, to 8.0 inches. A digital rear view mirror, much like those in the Cadillac CT6 and the Chevrolet Bolt EV, shows a feed from a camera cleverly hidden in the rear glass. The camera's view can be adjusted vertically, and, unlike in those competitors, it remains clear in inclement weather because it looks through an area on the backlight that's kept clean by the rear wiper. Because QX80 drivers bring giant mugs into their vehicles, the front two cup holders feature handle cutouts, and the USB ports are relocated to the dashboard instead of buried in the central cubby, which is also slightly deeper.